The Nile Rodeo is back in Billings with a new addition for ladies, breakaway roping, empowering for not just one competitor, but for breast cancer survivors who will be here at Metro Park Friday for Pink Night. Yeah. Prior native Sarah Verhouse has been breakaway roping since she was old enough to hold a lasso. I think it's just something that you feel like you were meant to do it and I've just always loved breakaway roping. I could literally rope all day every day. And now Sarah will get to compete in the sport she loves in a setting that's near to her heart. The Nile's just always been special. Like I say I grew up watching my dad compete and never thought breakaway would get to be a part of it. It's something that she's excited to share with a special group of ladies who will be at the Nile Friday. Breast cancer survivors like Carrie Young. What about you? What's your story? I actually would come here and I would see the ladies, you know, come out and wearing pink and I thought, oh, those women are so strong. And for me, I'd had Hodgkin's lymphoma, so I was like, wow, breast cancer would be really difficult. Unfortunately, she would learn firsthand. After battling and beating the lymphoma, she was diagnosed with breast cancer last year. The breast cancer for me um, had more than likely been in my left breast for eight to 10 years um, because I had dense tissue. The same team at St. Vincent Healthcare is helping Carrie battle once again. 80% of women will be able to find their breast cancer like through lumps and MRIs. And, but for the other 20%, an ultrasound is what showed it for me. But as important as that aspect is, she says there's more to this fight than treatment, like packing the Nile in pink. I think it's important that don't sit at home, you know, and just shove it down, come out and be with the rest of us and we can all share each other's stories and it really helps. I think it's just really special that they feature women and feature people that are having those struggles or going through things and that research and, you know, detection is important. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.